I know you don't want to look at my ugly mug, so I'm trying this new video format where I talk over some random gameplay. Oh, by the way, Google is about to ruin the career of hundreds of YouTubers. For completely BS reasons, let's discuss. So, the FTC recently fined YouTube $170 million for collecting and selling the data of children on their service to advertising companies. Now, for a company like Google, $170 million is a drop in the bucket. They make 100 times that in less than an hour from just AdSense partners. So, YouTube CEO Susan Wojcicki, I believe that's how you pronounce her name, has announced some major changes coming to the platform starting next year, and they're pretty terrible. In order to qualify for monetization on YouTube, your content must be advertiser friendly, aka family friendly. So you have all these channels that are cleaning up their act so they can get that sweet ad revenue. Starting next year, YouTube is going to disable their comment sections and disable subscriber notifications. And YouTube's excuses it's for the children! Oh, and gaming channels will get hit with this as well. So everyone from PewDiePie to Captain Sparkles will lose their ability to engage with their community and inform their subscribers when they upload new videos. So they're going from occasionally not sending upload notifications to not sending them at all. And their excuse is, for the children, is complete BS. If they really cared about the children, they wouldn't have been collecting their data and selling it to begin with. This isn't about the children. It isn't even about the $170 million fine from the FCC. It is about YouTube wanting to be the next Netflix and cable TV. They've been embracing legacy media, giving night show hosts and mainstream network content preferential treatment over us independent content creators. Never mind the fact that gaming channels account for nearly 80% of YouTube's total traffic and three quarters of their total ad revenue. The content creators who help make the platform what it is today, we're being told we're not wanted anymore. Maybe we should take the hint and start looking for a new home for our content. Do not tell me there are no alternatives to YouTube. Two very viable platforms exist right now that would benefit from a massive influx of new users and content creators. BitChute is a community-funded platform that doesn't censor content based on political bias like YouTube does. You can donate directly to your favorite content creators and the entire site is ad-free. They use secure, web-based, BitTorrent-derived technology to decentralize the platform and make it resistant to censorship. LBRY is an ad-free media sharing platform allowing content creators to distribute their ebooks, art, music, and etc. and monetize either by selling their content or taking donations. Content creators keep 100% of their revenue. The platform uses a secure blockchain to prevent copyright and censorship issues. The platform is 100% decentralized so it can't be taken down and both users and content creators earn a unique cryptocurrency designed to make determining IP ownership transparent. There is no mining involved. In fact, it's totally optional. You earn LBRY's LBC by consuming content, selling content, and receiving donations from other LBRY users. The currency is accepted at a number of different exchanges. So there are options out there. BitChute is home to a number of channels kicked off YouTube for wrong think. LBRY was built to keep government and corporations from suppressing free expression. No, they aren't as polished as YouTube. More users means more revenue, which will fund more platform development. 
That's a good thing for consumers and it is a good thing for content creators. I've already started putting my content on both platforms and I encourage you to do the same if you are a content creator on YouTube. For the past few years, YouTube has been making policy changes that benefit legacy media and throws everyone else under the bus. It is getting harder and harder to be a content creator on this platform and earn a living off our work. Our rights of free speech and free expression are constantly under attack. If you aren't radically liberal on YouTube, you're going to have a bad time. Enough is enough. I've been Mike the Zorch. Thanks for watching Zorch Central. I'll see you next time. Some Zorch Central content is only available on LBRY at beta.lbry.tv slash at Zorch Central colon e.